Got to make a haircut appointment. Hi, is this Pat? Hey, this is Chris. I was wondering if I can come down and get my hair cut. Uh, what time we got now? It's about, about 22. Alright, I'm on my way. Alright, bye. Okay, 3 o'clock it is. I gotta get moving. Oh, I just missed my freaking bus. So now I gotta walk down to the corner and then I gotta catch a different bus and then a different bus. And I got like 15 minutes to be there, so I'm probably gonna be freaking late. Ah, damn it. I hate when shit like this happens, but you know what? It is what it is. I say that a lot, don't I? It is what it is. Let's get across the street before I. while I can. <laughs> All right. Beep, 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 beep. That little tiny bird over there. Yeah, he's got a big ass voice. Going to get my hair cut. Going to get my hair cut. I should just go to this place here on the corner, but. Shit, I don't know these people. And, uh, they won't know what to do. I like to go to the same people all the time. They know what they're doing. Not like I have a whole lot of hair to cut off, but... Fight dog, I'm not shaving my head. I'm not shaving my head. Just because you have no hair doesn't mean I don't have to have hair. Ooh. Got heartburn again. More later. Chris. Hey, I just called him a few minutes ago and I talked to Pat. And he said 3 o'clock. But it looks like my next bus isn't coming until 3.01. So it's going to be a few minutes. I don't care who cuts my hair, really. Yeah, that'll work. I mean, I'll be there. I don't like I said. I don't care who cuts my hair as long as you know. It's sometime before sundown. <laughs> See you soon. Alrighty, bye.
bum barber shop is right across the street. But I gotta get some money out of the ATM. Ain't that about a bitch? All right, soon. Hi guys. Ah. She's sitting in the chair. I'm getting ready to get it. Days. Yeah. See you later. I got my hair cut, and um, they didn't want me to film too much in there. I had I had the lady who was cutting my hair. I had her film kind of like my before thing. So this is the afterwards. I have no idea how long I gotta wait for the bus. As always. Um, they did a good job, I think. Not quite the balded head like a uh, fight dog, but... Did you really think that I was going to go completely friggin' bald? Uh-uh. Anyway, I was try trying to get them to uh, let me film inside the place because I wanted to make them famous. I don't know. You always got to let people know. I mean, if you're going to film like the outside of their place or whatever. And I don't want to, you know, even though they're the owners are in there right now, I don't want to do that. Unless they say, oh yeah, go, great, you know, great thing. Anyway, I was telling them that I'm going to start working out again. And uh, drop a couple 50, 60 pounds. And she was saying, oh yeah, right. And I said, yeah, alright, you watch me in six months when I'm down to like 220 or something like that. Yeah, you won't believe it. It's 342. All right, I don't, want to, I don't want to spend too much time at the bus stop. So, uh, I'll get back to you guys later.